frustrasi guys welcome back sorry I took a week off after town hill I just needed a little bit of a mental break kind of took a week off from riding other than some trail rides and light hacks so I kind of was feeling a little burnt out and I just took a little bit of a break unfortunately town hill was the last event of the season for us because Kent was canceled so unfortunately that is the end of my season luckily my trainer is going to a competition in a few weeks so I'm really excited to go and support her and groom for her and get some more experience on the ground. Um, so that'll be super exciting. We're gonna be taking Flower and Rex. So I've been full steam ahead helping get those horses ready and kind of just going easy with Jip. And other than that, things have been pretty status quo here. It's been pretty normal day to day, just chores and the usual. So today I wanted to show you guys my grooming routine with Flower and the different therapies that she's getting. I know I um, showed you guys a little bit of her new beamer last week. And then I also thought um, I wanted to try a new braid that I saw on Instagram which I was really excited to try so I'll show you guys that and then maybe I'll show you guys how I do a typical button braid. And um, kind of get to take you guys along with my pretty unexciting days these days of uh, tack cleaning and prepping horses and chores. So I will uh, start with Miss Flower. So this is Petite Flower. I'm sure I've introduced you guys before, but this is my boss's thoroughbred. She has a pretty extensive history in the upper levels. She plays ninth at Rolex not too long ago. so. She is hopefully going to be my trainer's more upper level horse as she tries to move up so she can kind of show her the ropes. And uh, I'm going to show you guys some of the, the grooming that she likes. I have hordes of tack out to clean, as you can see. So Flower starts out her morning with her beamer session. I showed you guys some of this beamer stuff in the last video. So if you want a little rundown on what the beamer system is, you can check out the last video. But it's a blanket and these leg cuffs and it helps um, increase the blood flow circulation. Hi Flo. Reduces stress and anxiety. It has a lot of cool perks to uh, recovery and rehabilitation. You know, just better health overall. So we're pretty excited to be using this system. So the second therapy that Flower gets is an ARC equine. So the ARC equine goes on one of their legs. Flower has already worn it today, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to put it on. So this is a microcurrent technology that helps increase their recovery time. Just stimulates tissue repair. So we feel like we've been noticing a difference and it's been helping her as well. So she wears that for three hours every day. And then lastly, we are big believers in the back on track technology. So she wears back on track bell boots, back on track quick wraps all around. And when it's not super hot out, which it is right now, she'll wear um, her back on track blanket as well. Okay, so when I go to get flower ready, I always like to start with my hands on gloves. Flower really loves this. She loves to really be massaged with them. So we're gonna start with that. You'll really see her lean into it and relax. Great. Now flower is prone to chronic back soreness. So you'll just see a little bit of that. Um, you'll be able to see the muscles twitching when I dig in really deep. And that's just, she's always had chronic back pain. 
which is why we try to do so much different therapies to try to help, uh, right? <laughs> That's why we try to do so many different therapies and just take really good care of her to give her the best advantage with, with that. Flower also gets massage work done, I would say almost weekly, um, just to keep her back as loose and comfortable as possible. She loves her shoulder being rubbed and massaged and worked into. And she also loves her neck being done. She gets really into it. Someone seems to have replaced my mix of healthy hair care moisturizer, but I love to use this, which I've showed you guys before. This is the concentrate. You have to mix it in like spray bottle. Um, but I love to use this all over her coat as I brush her out after I've scrubbed her down. It just helps lift the dirt and helps keeping her coat, coat nice and healthy and not dry. Typically, um, I will brush her with a typical body brush and spray her down with the healthy hair care moisturizer at the same time. Looking extra fit and shiny these days. Her dapples are glowing. So um, then I typically tack her up in whatever tack she's gonna go in. She goes in wolf boots all around during workouts. And then she's pretty much ready to go with some therapeutic cuff polish. We put some Vaseline around her bit area because she gets bit rubs. Um, but that's pretty much it for getting her ready. I'm not gonna get her ready right this second, right? And then I will practice and play with some braiding on her now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do a simple button braid. And I'm also gonna try a spiral braid that I saw on the Instagram handle was Baxter Equine Services. She has such talent um, and I don't know if I can do it today because I don't really usually sew in braids I'll show you guys how to do a yarn button braid but it is something I want to try if I can't accomplish it with yarn then I'm gonna get some stuff and learn how to sew in braids so I have a typical like braiding kit here really um, the only things that I find really useful are a, just a regular comb uh, a clip to hold the hair back and then um, your pull through and then I just use regular yarn, which I have. Okay, so I'm gonna use my GoPro chest mount to show you guys, so bear with me if the angle and lighting isn't perfect. So for starters, I take my comb, make a nice line. Flower's bridal path is kind of a little long here, so excuse me for that. Because that's all my fault, no one else's. So we have a nice clean line and you can kind of make it as long or short as you need to. Um, I tend to make them as wide as possible so that I give myself less work to do. Flower's mane is pretty thin, so I can kind of just find a nice spot here. Yeah, I know. This is where your clip comes in handy. Clip that off. Oops, I grabbed a little bit of my hair here. So then it, this is when I could apply the quick braid again. I'm not going to because Flo doesn't love it. And then 
I have a little comb for this. I don't love to use it. I start braiding down. All The biggest tip I can give everyone with braiding is as tight as you can. Keep it tight. Hold it together because the tighter you can make it, the neater your braid is going to be. So when you get about halfway down, this is when I take my string, lay the string over the middle part of your braid and the other half over the top so you don't get confused. And then braid it in a little bit. And then one, pull this part down and braid it into another side of the braid. Good girl. I just find yarn to be the easiest. I've never learned so in braids, but I find that rubber band braids tend to stand up in the air. And one of my big pet peeves is that your braids lay flat. So I tend to use yarn, but I would love to learn how to sew them in at some point to do some more technical braids. So when I get to the bottom, I make this nice loop here and then I tie my braid by pulling it through tight. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. So this is the tricky part for most people. And I'm gonna reclip here so it's nice and tight. So you can hopefully see. And what I'm gonna do is I take my index finger and my thumb and I grab it so it's in this L shape. And then I take the tail of the braid over so it's in a circle with the tail on top. This is when I use my pull through. So I like to grab the braid above the knot with the pull through. This way I pull the whole knot through just to make it a little bit tidier. Then I make sure everything is nice and tight. You take your pull through again, go through the top and grab your yarn again, holding everything tight, pull it through. Now, here I feel like there's two ways you can do it. I've seen people tie on top and I just loop down around the bottom. That was the way I was taught to do it. And then I tie on the bottom again. I've also seen people come around and tie on the top, but I think it looks nice and neat just like that. And then I'm actually gonna use, this is not how you technically do it, but you'd use scissors to cut these strands. I'm just gonna use that there. So that's what my braid looks like. My little button braids when I do dressage braids. I use a quick, I usually use quick braid and hairspray just to make sure they stay nice and tidy. And I'll do one more for you guys of my regular braids. It doesn't matter how many you do when you do hunter braids, obviously the number matters. With button braids it doesn't, so I just want to try to make each of them equal. So then I do that again. These are what my braids look like. Again, a little bit tidier on show day, but still nice. Good girl. Okay, so the braid that I saw online was really cool. It was this spiral braid. So I'm gonna try that today. I have no idea what I'm doing, so you're watching me just be a total guinea pig at this. this longer piece of string because she sews this in but I don't have any sewing materials so I gotta try it my way but I left myself a lot of extra yarn for the sewing in process so maybe yarn wasn't the best idea because she does her spiral here like this. Okay, so this is when the sewing would have come in handy. So I have this nice spiral braid here that looks really pretty, but I don't quite know how to put it together without just tying it really funny. So maybe we'll get some, some sew-in stuff. What do you think, Chloe? Well, so now that I had fun uh, playing with braids and pampering Flo a little bit, I have to get back to chores. So I'm gonna do a couple chores really quick 
And then I'm gonna take Jippy just on a bareback walk today. We did some work yesterday and we're kind of just taking it easy now. So we're gonna go on a little bareback walk down the driveway. <laughs> That's pretty much it for this week. There hasn't been anything too crazy going on. It's really just helping prep Allie's two horses. And we've been trailering her horses to see her trainer weekly. And just kind of doing everything we can to make sure her horses are ready. So Jippy and I haven't been up to too much. It's been nice to take a little bit of a breather. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I do button slash dressage braids. If you guys have any questions, make sure you just ask in the comments below. I'm happy to help. I feel like once I work on some of the sew-in stuff, I'll have to fill you guys in on that too. But I'm pretty excited about the start of the spiral braids. They look really cool. So I'm excited about that. Also, if you guys have any questions about any of the therapies that we do for Flower or some of the other horses, of course, just let me know. I'm always happy to answer questions and point you in the right direction. Like I said, that's pretty much all I've been up to. Uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks, I'll um, have some better ideas of some winter plans and things I'm gonna work on, but it's been nice just to take a little bit of a, a breather and a mental break from everything. As the season kind of winds down, I'd love to hear from you guys and how your season was during the COVID situation. And I'd love to hear about what you guys would like to see more of on the weekly vlog. And I'm gonna get, try to get back to doing it weekly, fingers crossed. Until next time, guys.